Yeah, I think I'm more comfortable uh, than I was when I was 18. Um, you know, obviously it's totally a core experience for me and I have a lot of fun. Obviously it's cool to have my family here, my, my, my sister and um, my girlfriend's here, so the whole crew's here. So, um, you know, it's, it's a fun experience, but, you know, whether I win anything or not, it's not a big importance to me, obviously, to be cool, but I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's cool that you know some of the best players in the league are here. Um, you know, I feel fortunate to be a part of those names, and you know, I think um, a lot of these guys are deserving of awards since they're nominated, and they've done great things. So it's on the ice, but also off the ice. So. A lot of good people here and a lot of good players. How are you able to take your game to the, to the next level this year? Um, uh, experience, I think. I mean, my fifth year, um, you know, I wanted to, to kind of reestablish myself as a top player and obviously a couple tough tough seasons for myself and the team that I wanted to bounce back from. And, you know, I thought I thought I did like the rest of the team. You have something to prove. It seems like Taylor had something to prove. You guys both... You know, helped your team some massive point improvements. You sort of see the parallels between yourself and him. I mean, I know Anze is also in the running, but between you and Taylor specifically on your seasons, how they sort of ran, you know, on similar tracks. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously a lot of similarities. With, you know, I think the, the Devils finished bottom three or four in the league, and obviously we came last year before. And, um, big point improvements. I think, you know, uh, I mean, you can't do it all on your own. I think that's obvious. That we had, you know, we had some good, good help and. A lot of good players around us, and uh, you know, obviously, fun year. Sid, give you any tips? I know you've been here before, but did Sid give you any tips about being up for Hart? No, he's been up for a lot, so he, he would have some tips. But um, yeah, I was just thinking, though. I mean, it was tough that he's he got hurt a few of those seasons. They could have like eight hearts right now. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> he's got two. But uh, yeah, I mean, he got hurt. I think like four times when he was leading the league by like 20. So uh, you know, he, he he's been through it all. But uh, I haven't talked to him. Maybe I should. If I have to make a speech, maybe I should ask him what to say, because uh, he's done it a few times. Nate, did I invent this? Were you here with him last year at the awards? Yeah, show? I was, yeah. 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 On your golf I trip? was, yeah. <laughs> I right I right before the goal, yeah, I was, felt like a loser walking around <laughs> during the awards, uh, through like four goals last season. So, um, Yeah, I mean, I was More here. Fun this time. Yeah, we, we were just going to California for a golf trip with uh, Schenner and, and Barry. Uh, so we, he actually, we, I think he came the day of and left same night so right. in and out yeah so we went on like a little golf trip after so we all came and acted like pigeons the whole time I, I saw you back there with the, the broncos a little bit uh, what goes through your mind when you meet some of those kids and talk with them a little bit yeah you just like you feel very remorseful i mean it's uh you don't know exactly what to say but they're all very positive right now and i didn't know what, what kind of mood they'd be in uh but i mean they're they're in really good spirits which is amazing um you know, you're just trying to keep it pretty casual. You don't want to get too heavy, but obviously, uh, you try to let them know how, you know how sad you are for them, and hopefully they're doing okay and being strong. I mean, it's, uh, I can't relate to anything what they've been through. So obviously, it's a pretty special. They're not even kids. I mean, they're 21 years old, some of them, and right. um, they're very special people.